What's up you guys, welcome back. So recently I placed an order online for some makeup and I was sent some in the mail. So I thought that I would just share a little spring makeup haul with you. I'm really excited about a lot of this stuff and to try out some new things. Some of it I've already tried and I'll let you know which ones. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I picked up that I was the most excited to try is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. So my friend Amanda Devon loves this palette. She uses it all the time and so just figured, you know what, let's just try it. I mean, part of me is like, I already have so many neutral eyeshadow palettes, but then the other part of me is like, well, bitch, that's all you use. So here we are. I've used this three times and I love it. I have it on my eyes right now, which I just did a very, very soft something or other. Really nice eyeshadow. So this is the packaging, which is absolutely glorious. You guys know I love black. And then this is the inside. It's just a very simple neutral palette. I like all of the mattes in there. I'm not very much of a shimmery person, but the ones that are in here are very beautiful. This seems like a nice, unique, like taupey bronze. A gold this looks like a nice light olive a dark olive so we'll play let me know if you want a tutorial with this because it's beautiful I can't wait to use that on camera next I think I have another one in here but I picked up the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection concealer the world's longest name for a concealer you guys know I'm obsessed with this I think this is my number one favorite concealer ever it gives more of like a medium coverage but you could definitely build it up it gives a skin like to luminous finish kind of hesitate to say luminous just because it's not crazy glowy and if you're oily I still think you'd like this because I'm oily and I love it that's all I have on my face today their color swatches online it's just really tricky to decipher what color you need I'm actually pretty good at that at figuring out what color I'd need online I did get LM 14 and then I believe I also did get LM 9 I'll let you know if I come across it I also picked up the Pat McGrath lip pencil and the color contour I've been using this as well this is like a neutral toned lip pencil and Amanda got me on this. It's a beautiful formula. It's like a drier version of the KKW lip liners, um, which is actually a good thing in my opinion because while the KKW lip liners are my favorite lip liners on the market, sometimes having something that creamy can bleed a little bit. And I feel like they don't, the KKW lip liners don't really bleed, but they're very emollient. So this is just slightly drier, but still really creamy. And I really, really like it. And it comes with its own little sharpener. And again, the color I got was contour. It does go a little bit cool toned. In the get ready with me with me and Amanda, I think we both use this actually. It's very beautiful. I picked up the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt in She Sculpted, which is the medium one, which I have tried this and I tried it when I had on a spray tan. And again, it was the more olive spray tan. So this went very cool toned on me, which I feel like when I am more fair, this will work, but I'm a little surprised because this is the medium shade. Basically, it's just a cream contour color and a bronzer. Do you see how light that is for a, a medium? I'll have to check out their darker shades and see. I did really like the color and I really liked the formula when I tried it out. So I just have to try it when I'm not so tan because it was like, whoo, a little muddy looking, but very beautiful. I'm excited to try this out again and see kind of how it works with the ever-changing skin tones I have. This is so cute. This got sent in the mail from Way Hair Care. This is the Fur Bebe Pet Shampoo. I cannot wait. I told Pretzel, and I, Ruben mainly, but I was like, Pretzel got her first PR package, blah, blah, blah. It came with like a little toy version of the shampoo, which she's just obsessed with. So it smells just like their Way Hair Care products. She needs a bath. She just rolled in some stinky grass yesterday. So I can't wait to try that on her. I picked up the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So Olaplex just has so many freaking products out. It's hard to keep up. The number three treatment that is the most popular, that's the little take home one. I feel like a lot of people think it's supposed to be used the way that this is supposed to be used. So, and I remember one time I was in Sephora and I was actually looking for it and the girl that was working there was telling me how to use it and it was so wrong. <laughs> like, I just think that people think that that's like a hair mask and it's not, it's more of a treatment that you put on and then you wash it out and then condition and stuff. This is a regular conditioning mask. So this you put on after you shampoo and then you put this on, leave it in for a little bit and then rinse it out. I did try it once. I'm whatever about it. I, it was only one time that I've tried it. So we'll see. I'll, I'll keep trying it out. I've actually been trying quite a few new different hair products. I don't know why, just out of nowhere, I just switched up my whole routine. So if you want like a new hair care routine, let me know. But yeah, I've just been trying some new hair care stuff just because I've been using 
using the same stuff for so long. I was ready to just kind of like switch it all up. So um, yeah, I'll give this another shot, obviously, because I bought it and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> another hair care product that I picked up was the Shu Uemura UB Blonde Anti-Brass Purple Shampoo. I've heard so many good things about this shampoo. I'm just on a Kerastase kick for the last year, two years. I really love their purple shampoo. I also really love the dry bar shampoo, but I had like one of those big jugs that you can get at Ulta during their sale. I got so sick of it just because I had so much of that shampoo. And anytime I would need a purple shampoo, I would just use that. So that's finally gone. And then I started using my Kerastase one again. Really love that one. But I've heard such great things about this one. Thought I'd give it a try and we'll see how it goes. It's just a uh, purple shampoo it's supposed to keep it nice and icy. Now, little tip, if you have hair extensions in your hair and you are a platinum blonde doing purple shampoo, try to section off your extensions so that you're not icing those because those will really pick up the pigment and they will be icier than your natural hair. Oh, I really needed a hairspray because I started doing this with my hair with the air wrap and I just feel like I wanted it to last just a little bit longer. I actually like when my hair falls, but I just wanted for special occasions and stuff like that, I wanted to be able to spray it. So this is the Aura Bay Super Fine Hairspray. It looks like this and it's just like a super fine hairspray. LM9 Concealer. This is interesting. They're in two different boxes. Isn't that interesting? I just came across the concealer that's in my normal shade. How weird. I think this was actually the old packaging. They just switched it to this. Oh, I replenished my airbrush bronzer. This is in the shade medium. I just did the refill on it because the packaging is so beautiful and this is more butter, you know? It just is the pan. So then you just pop out the other pan out of the case. You just pop it out of here. And look, at this is so used up. I just figured I was going to be down on this soon-ish. So you just pop that out and then you place this on in and then you don't have to buy another case. So I replenished my Fenty cream bronzer and macchiato because I'm about to throw my other one out. It's just so gross. It's got some things in it just because I think from just like dumping my brush in it and like, I don't know, it's nasty. And after I saw Amanda's, I was like, okay, mine's like way grosser than yours. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Just glorious and beautiful and yummy. Most favorite cream bronzer ever. It's just so beautiful. So I picked up the Desi Skin Glow Serum that she came out with. I just have the box here because I've been using it. This is wonderful, you guys. So I haven't seen like any like brightening, like crazy dramatic anything happening because I've only had this for like a week, but I'm excited because I do have a couple dark spots here. I'm interested to see if they start to lighten up, but just overall the way that this feels on my skin, the weight of this product, this is so nice and I can't wait to keep using it. It kind of comes out almost like a moisturizer. I love that it smells like absolutely nothing, which sometimes when things are unscented, they still smell unscented. You know what I'm talking about? This doesn't smell like that. This just smells like nothing. It goes on so nicely, so hydrating feeling on my skin. I can't wait to use this every day when I go to do my skincare routine. And the weight of this is so, so nice, so luxurious. So I'm just so excited for Desi and her family and the brand and everything. So I picked this up the day that it came out and I've been using it ever since it came in the mail and I can't wait to just see what it does to my skin and I can't wait to see what else she comes out with because I know it's gonna be really good. This was sent to me from Hourglass they came out with a skincare line too and I've been really trying to find a cleanser to replace my Shiseido cleansers because they just like to discontinue every cleanser that I've tried from them and liked. This one is the Equilibrium Rebalancing Cream Cleanser. I've tried this once and I put it back in the box before I could just keep trying it so I think it was just kind of like whatever. I think the smell is very intense. Kind of smells more like a shampoo than it does a face cleanser. So, but it does have the feeling that I like where it just feels very frothy on the skin, hydrating feeling, and doesn't give me that squeaky clean feeling at the end, but I do feel clean obviously. So, I mean, we'll try this out and see. This could be a nice contender. Fenty sent this over. This is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I've seen so many people talking about this, but I can't use this until I don't have a spray tan on because I have shade one and that won't match me right now. But I've heard a lot of people say that they really like this. This is so much smaller in person than I thought it was going to be. Like, look at this compared to the concealer. 
you know, teeny tiny. So we'll have to try this out and see how it goes. This seems like it would be a product that you just like apply with your fingers. We'll see. And then this was also sent to me. This is the Tatcha Silk Powder. I wonder what this is all about. I kind of want to try this right now because I am a little oily right now. Ooh, this packaging is so pretty. Tatcha really has got it going on. I love almost everything that they've come out with. Radiant translucent, I don't know. I'm oily, so <laughs> radiant translucent doesn't sound like the best for me. So interested to try this out. I'll have to try that next time I do my makeup. I'm gonna try that and not use the Laura Mercier translucent one just to see how that works as just like my regular setting powder and just see what happens. And then last but not least, Sigma sent this over in a package with some um, other things. This is the Sigma Corderosa blush palette, which I'm a sucker for blush and contour palettes, but this looked like a good range of colors that I would gravitate to. Um, the only one that I probably won't use that much is the center one, but the rest just kind of seem like right up my alley. I love a good blush palette, so I'm excited about this one. But yeah, that's everything that I have to share with you today. These are all of the things that have either been sent to me in the mail or that I've placed orders online for. I was just really excited to show you all the new stuff just because I can get really stuck in my ways and using a lot of the same stuff all the time, which I know a lot of, a lot of you guys really like that too because you can see what I'm actually really using and you know that I love it. But yeah, I was just kind of in the mood to try some new things and um, I'll give you updates on all this stuff and, and stay tuned because you'll see some of this stuff in action in future videos. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.